Hi, I'm John Giles from Michelson's Attorneys. I'm the managing attorney at the firm. I've been to the IT Web Security Summit many times over the years. I always find it a very interesting couple of days. It's very nice mingling with lots of different people, particularly the mix often between information security uh, experts or really technically minded people and the legal people, like myself, is often a very interesting mix that I've enjoyed over the years. My presentation this morning was on the cyber crimes bill with a focus on information security. And a couple of my key messages are that the cyber crimes bill is necessary, but not in its current form. So cyber crime is an issue. There are many people who are victims of cyber crime and we need a law in order to deal with that and to help law enforcement to prosecute criminals. But the current draft of the cyber crimes bill has many problems with it. One of which is that the crimes are too broadly defined which means that many of us will be committing crimes unwittingly and unknowingly. I also raised particularly the issues around electronic communication service providers and national critical information infrastructure as two key issues that particularly corporates need to be thinking about. And then also I raised the issue around information security professionals using software and hardware tools that enable them to improve information security and that it might be that they become criminals because the cyber crimes bill prevents you from using those tools. The current process of the cyber crimes bill is that it was it was published for comment. Lots of comment was given and at the moment Parliament is in the process of processing that comment and we're expecting a new draft to be published within the next couple of months. And hopefully many of the, the, the issues that have been raised and many of the concerns will be dealt with in the next version. And, uh, but it's still very important for everyone to have a look at the next draft and to make sure that um, the issues have been addressed.